in every man there lives a king and a fool the one you talk to is the one who's gonna respond it's not so hard you talk to the king the king makes you a queen you talk to the fool the fool responds listen let me give you bible sit for a moment david is very hungry with his men there in the wilderness and david sends one of his men to the house of nabal nabal was a very wealthy man and as he gets as the servant gets there he says david is asking for some food now david had an expectation because without nabal asking many times david protected the cattle of of nabal without him asking so david felt we've done you a favor our men so now he's hungry bring me some food nabal says who does david think he is i won't give him food so the servant goes back but another servant of the house goes to tell nabal's wife abigail what her husband did what i admire about abigail is this women it's not just good enough to know to it's not good enough to be married to a fool you must know when you are married to one you see to be married to one is one thing but to know i have married a fool is another thing because when you know it you can protect him so abigail knew she was married to a fool and she went and prepared a table for david so david when he heard what the servant says he grabbed his sword and his spear he said today i will show nabal who i am let's go guys they went to his house abigail had prepared a table abigail says please forgive my husband have a seat have something to eat here's for your men and david calms down and has something to eat you see nabal spoke to the fool in david and the fool said today i will show him who i am today but the king abigail spoke to the king in david and david relaxed and he enjoyed the meal do you know not long after that nabal died so david sent abigail a sms it says hey i see that fool is dead now can we go for a cup of coffee because i'm looking for a woman who can bring out the king in me and i will make her a queen <laughs> 